Summer will be here before you know it, and I know I want to be as fit as possible for summertime, and not just for summertime, I just want to be more fit and eat a little bit cleaner, so today I'm going to start my day off by making a strawberry banana almond smoothie. Almond, almond, whatever, almond smoothie. Protect your life right now, protect your life, protect your life right now, protect your on everyone and welcome to my channel <laughs> my name is Jossie oh my goodness I can't believe I just did that what is going on everyone welcome to my channel for those of you all who are new here my name is Jossie I like to create tech lifestyle and travel videos for those who have been here before welcome back so today I want to help you become a better programmer but by no means is this the only way to become better at writing code or understanding code. I just wanna share with you some of my experiences and the techniques I've used to become a better programmer and to learn new programming languages. This video is sponsored by PDF Element, a powerful PDF tool that allows you to produce great looking PDF documents and forms quickly, affordably, and securely. Enhancing your resume. I know you're probably thinking, how on earth is enhancing my resume gonna make me a better developer or engineer? Well, I'm glad you asked that question. One thing I did as a student is I would think of skill sets that I would wanna put on my resume or LinkedIn profile before I start applying for jobs that interest me. However, if I currently didn't have those skill sets, I would set it as a goal for me to be able to add those skill sets to my resume. This motivates me to work on those skill sets that I want to add to my resume. For example, I will go and look at jobs that I want to apply for, and I try to see if there are any overlapping skill sets for the jobs that I'm interested in. If you're looking for a front-end engineering job, you're probably going to see an overlap of programming languages such as JavaScript, HTML, and CSS. And maybe a few JavaScript frameworks like Angular, AngularJS, and React got down those overlapping programming languages or JavaScript frameworks, for example. And when you have free time, instead of watching Netflix and chilling with Bay or whatever you like to do, work on personal projects that allow you to work with those languages that you want to learn or get better at. So you can add those to your resume. Sorry, was that clapping too loud? I don't even know why I buy candles. I think I just buy them for aesthetics because I actually never use them. This candle smells really good though. I should probably start using it sometime soon. You wanna update your resume, which is why I'm happy to be working with PDF Element. This software will help you enhance your resume because it is very easy to use and has tons of capabilities, allowing you to edit your resume on the fly without messing up the format. I use Google Docs a lot and it is very easy to edit documents that you've created in Google Docs that you've downloaded on your local machine. And it's also the easiest way to edit Microsoft Office files as well. As a student or professional, you're always needing to update your resume with new skill sets that you've acquired because of classes that you've taken. If you're a student or personal projects that you've worked on, or for people like myself who program professionally, we are constantly learning new things and we wanna make sure our resume reflects the knowledge that we have. I can't tell you how much time I've spent trying to update and reformat my resume and it's always been such a painful process. This solution makes the process painless. You have the ability to create, edit, add, remove, resize. You can create your own signature. There's OCR. The list just goes on. When you open your PDF and PDF element, it's smart enough to create sections of your resume that acts as an interactive form field and it recognizes form fields automatically. And this allows you to just drag and drop form fields and sections into different places based on how you want to format your resume form fields into new locations when you are reformatting your resume. So we talked about being able to enhance your resume and how that'll make you a better developer because you'll be motivated to add those skill sets to your resume. Now let's talk about what I do when I want to learn a new programming language.
or if I want to become better at a programming language. When I want to learn a new language, I want to become familiar with the syntax. This allows me to compare and contrast the syntax of the new language with the syntax of languages that I've learned in the past. Have you ever heard the saying, if you learn one language, you can learn the other? This is very true, especially if you become skilled at languages like C++, Python, and Java. So after I spend a few hours learning the syntax for basic procedures like loops, if statement, a little bit of string manipulation, iterating over arrays or lists, now you don't wanna be stuck in tutorial purgatory. I know I've been there plenty of times and I think it's because it can get quite intimidating starting a project from scratch. However, that's the best way to learn, at least from my experience, I think that's one of the best ways to learn because you take the acceptance criteria that you have for the new project you're going to create and you research ways to create that acceptance criteria into code. Now, once you're done with all those tutorials, I know that there are a lot of websites out there that have problems of different levels of difficulty. And keep in mind, I'm just giving you more of a vague way to learn a new programming language. I don't know why you're learning the language in particular. Like if you're studying for an interview, you're probably focusing more on the problem solving, uh, the data structures, which is why websites that allow you to solve problems is probably more beneficial to someone like you but if you're someone who's trying to actually display some of your skill sets through like a website or a mobile application then tutorials will probably be better for you or thinking of applications that you find fun and just kind of like recreating them yourself last but not least think of a problem you may face or a common problem that people might face and try to create an application that may solve that problem for you or for a group of people that makes life easier, more productive, or efficient. So those are some of the things that I do when I want to become a better programmer or learn a new language. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful at all. Share it with someone who you think may benefit from it. Don't hesitate to ask me questions in the comment section even if I don't get to you right away. I may answer your question in a video in the future. With that being said, as always, faith over fear and have a blessed week. I'm going to see you all soon. Peace.